this is their counter pusher, right? That's one thing that yeah. Secret's lineup is super it's made him famous, right? Yeah. The, the Meepo. Just waiting to see if they can find that one moment. The, the Astral was just coming up here. Need the block off. Opening. They have to set up for this perfectly with the banishment running out. It's going to be the walk over from Yapsor in first blood. Pressure and make sure that they don't get too much onto the tower as Kuro. In a little bit of trouble with the Maledict down, the Paralyzing Cask as well. Chase comes, but the heal could fissure to interrupt. They still try and run him down, but they pulled in Miracle, and that's going to be enough to find the kill on a puppy, though Kuro will do that pull in if they need to, if they want to defend that tier one tower. But for now, at least, Liquid just going for a little bit of an evade in the jungle as they find Nietzsche coming back in. Oh, he's slippery. With that relocate, and now the chase down coming from Zai as they look to find and follow this one. Paralyzing Cask only going to connect on the Miracle, but that might be enough because, well, the rest of Secret is here. Yeah. I mean, they're grabbing a kill up top, but it's not necessarily slowing down the rest of Liquid. They are keeping that Edict pressure on. They say, bring all of your heroes, or we're not stopping. Moving in for it. Do they get the deny? At the very least, they will. Omni Knight's eye makes it happen. Now the Magnetize on oh, the Emerald. Yeah. Move the Heavenly Grace, but mid one just drops. They find the kill, and now Zai trying to turn this one back around. Miracle is still living with a decent mana pool. Echo Slim connecting, but it's not enough damage. Miha lives through it. They roll through again, and Liquid making it happen. They take down Yapsor as well, possibly running through the trees, trying to run away. They know he's in there. And the net's eventually going to find the key. And actually, Puppy might just die. He's getting hit by an illusion. You can poof onto those afterwards as Puppy Going to get controlled up for the moment as GH still has him in the sights and they're going to be able to poof in afterwards if they want. Yeah. As Roche already goes down, Weeha finds Puppy and now an Aegis, an E Blade. Weeha is doing well, no thanks. Finish it off, set up the split earth easy, take us high ground, and you know that guy's going for a BKB. He just bought out. They are owning and taking down the tier three tower. Nisha just hoping to try and hold off, if at all possible, still 500 gold away from that Aghanim Scepter on the IO as Liquid hit their timing just that much harder. Wow, I can't wait secret. to see how strong IO Aghanims is. Because if it can bring <laughs> you back from this, it is truly busted. And they're trying, they're hoping, they're waiting. Creeps are coming in in just a moment, and Weeha still holding on, not at all afraid. I mean, Nisha is relocating the farm waves. Okay, the Fissure already thrown out. They used the Death Ward, but there's nothing there for the follow-up. Astral used as well. Now mid one in a lot of trouble. Is their healing back up from the Ransack? They're not doing enough damage. Is it quite enough? They can't even kill him off once. Hand of God comes out. Secret is getting completely run right, over. The here. balls are online. Are you kidding me? Possibly. They, they need it. They need it right now more than anything. The roll through as well. Side, they try to take down Mia. He is going to pop. But in the meantime, Secret now. Can you kill him a second time? Round two. Ding, ding, ding. And Secret not excited for. So oftentimes, you know, BKBs, they get countered by the Earthshaker because he's got that instant initiation. And now, speaking of which, he absorbed back behind. He can jump in if he wants to. Thinking about it, be sure to open up GH the Echo Slam. Is it quite going to be enough? They have the Rabbit to try and turn it. We have so freaking low, but not looking quite low enough. They do manage to kill him off, but they lose the Earthshaker and the IO mid one falling low. The help stop it connects as well as they all are getting torn apart. Nisha ended up buying back into this fight and Miracle trying to take him down. Is it going to oh, be quite eggs. enough? You will Scepter lift up at the very last second to keep Miracle alive. Puppy wanting to take down the mid from Liquid and he does die to the Maledict. Three gone. Zai the last one left alive, but the buyback comes. They know there are buybacks coming from Secret. Jeez, Puppy played his hard on that fight. He actually did so much damage on the Witch Doctor. 4,798. He was only second to the OD. And now the jump forward looking for a bit more. They've gone a bit too far though. There's a fissure to open it up. They find the rolling boulder stunned I forward know. and they can't run. do it again. It's too much. It's far too much. Weeha taking a lot of damage. He's the got 27. To work, but it's not quite there. Yapsor needs another fissure. The chase forward looking for the finish. And my man Mick one with one last astral desperately oh. trying to hold on. He's, he does manage to get the walk away again, but the roots there turn around the BKP. He's actually living through this one. Mid one, can he do it? The right click's coming through. It's all too much damage. And Weeha can do cheese on Liquid as they find Yapsor, the one hero that was supposed to be a solace for them, but is not as Miracle pops the BKB and is just gonna walk at him. Secret don't really have an answer as they chase forward, find the splitter there, a quick jump in for the save coming from Nisha. As they get the Fissure, the follow-up is there. A lot of damage onto Mind Control, who is starting to drop with that Maledict down. Might be enough for the Miracle. Also, very fall forward. They do manage to bring down the lag. 
It looks like MC will get out. Oh, Pearl's found. Okay, All nice right. follow-up. They found themselves a fight with him. Not be that cavalier with my movement if I was in this game, but... Well, the jump forward, and that's why Ravage connects onto all of them. They are going to be able to find the silence afterwards on the side, so no hope for safe. GA comes out finally as they try and get a turnaround. Roll forward coming from GA to control the rest of the fight. The E-Blade is there to make sure that none of the Meepos go down. Zaya's control, Liquid still running forward. A buyback comes from the Witch Doctor, but with no OD, Liquid have a path towards victory here. Yeah. They're going to take down another set of racks. Get your IO strat out of my game. OD, oh my no God. buyback. Weeha, everything. Find it everywhere you want. An ultra kill for Weeha, who continues to just run ransack through this game. They're going to give him the rampage. No, stolen away by Miracle. He has to take one for himself this time around. As Liquid do not look face in the least bit. No buybacks on any of these heroes. So there's only Nisha and Yapsor left to defend. Tier 4 towers being assaulted. Ladies and gentlemen, stick a fork in him because at least for this game, Secret are looking done as GG is called. My God, that was dominant. Team Liquid. I can tell you, there's nothing we all want to do more, I'm sure, than play Meepo on this stage. <laughs> Brought back here again from the Shanghai. Well, the laning stage, of course, uh, the Alchemist just looking for those levels so that he can try and gain law back in the jungle. And they have four very good heroes for making space across the map. Right. GH, Woo, that's a big crit. A lot of stun coming out there. Chase comes through. They're sitting in the acid spray with the ET moving in. This actually might be first blood. Possibly needs the stun to come through. Not quite on the engine. Who else could it be but Yavzor picking up the first blood? All right, two games in a row. Hilt's carving his way in there, too. He's got the phase boots. Ah, does he look left? He goes right. Nisha not realizing he's over there to the side. And Kuro going to get the shackles. Now the TP rotation coming from here. Who's level seven? We'll be able to find Nisha, get the kill without even having to use anything from the Kunga, and now GH. They are so lucky he didn't find anybody. Now he grabs mid one. Oh, there's no shrine nearby either. Already throwing down that acid spray. They have the stun connection. Can they bring him down in time? They don't have the chemical rage, but I'm not sure if it's going to matter. Yapsor trying to play spoiler. They get a pretty nice, well, actually, oh. RP, and now to turn it back around. Mid one still barely living. We are trying to run him down. And with the spirit vessel, as well as the radiance burn, it's going to be enough to take down mid yeah. or regen. Yapsor in trouble. Jumps forward with the stun on it, too. Weeha does not really care right now. Well, Steel Chemical Rage pops it immediately. Absor tries to run away. His puppy is just going to get barreled underneath this tier one tower. They do manage to find the stun, but immediately afterwards, there's going to be the vacuum back, the pull in onto two. We have realized the rest of my team is fighting there. Probably get together with them as the surge keeps Kuro alive. Zai still chasing, wanting to find this pesky Shadow Shaman, but the Hex comes out afterwards, and now the heal coming through. Torn is going to connect. Trying to retreat, but they find the X again on the Yapsor. Another four staff save in the day. Earth Splitter comes through. It's not quite and enough. He's there. Uh, he jumps in again, finds Yapsor, trying to get that kill, and he will be able to get it. But the RP on the three, the turnaround comes. The curse is there to interrupt, and they don't have an answer. Torrent both gonna connect on Anisha after the stun. The walk away happens, and mid one trying to be this big bad boss in the middle of it all, and he is doing a good chunk of damage, taking down GH and barely. No one's able to walk away again. They can't keep getting away with this liquid, making the fight last long enough for them to win it as they burn through the ulti of the Wraith King. And right now, Secret, they still can't take that tier one tower. How about another X? The pullback gets him again, and Magnus not able to save the day. Back, oh. back out of the skewer. Where are you going? Get over here as the torrent is going to lay or down. Oh, God, mid one. Kind of away from the rest of his team. They do have Magnus behind him. Chasing Nisha, wants to get a kill. Shadow Shaman, gonna be surged and go for the walkway. They drop the Serpo Wards down, and Weeha turns, finds the first kill on the Wraith King. Can they get him again? The apps are trying to steal what he can. They already have the boat down, giving him that bonus, and now the X marks the spot. There's a pretty good combination coming out with the RP, but it's not enough. It's not nearly enough. It's not even close to enough. Zai trying to run. Wea has him in his sights. Do they dive past the tier three tower? No. Oh, it's gonna come on. back down to the low ground. Mind control. Cosplay the scorpion. Right. High ground. Looking for the chase. Liquid, they're thinking about it as they get the TP boots coming in from the out, looking for that X play as they already have one round of it. Four staff a little bit late now. The jump forward. Wea finding and killing off Yapsor. Mid one. 
protected for the moment by Nisha, but this is the problem, trying to run away from the X Marks combination. Level 20 is not going to end up running into any issues with not getting his ultimate off, but losing the ultimate at this stage is bad enough. Zai pulls back in one. This is a nice way to start this fight. They have to stop to follow it up as well. They don't want to jump on him in one. Nisha able again, 13,000 lead, but maybe a wave, maybe a chance. They're initiating already. The pullback, a pretty nice combination there as they have the sleep as well. So at least onto one with the vacuum wall, and now they've got some more heroes of their own. The chase board looking for it. Zai in trouble, does not have buyback. He fully committed in with the items. As Mind Control looking like he's in some trouble himself. Mid one popping the BKB, looking to chase, but isn't going to be able to find that Alchemist. Now, will they try and turn without the BKB, or does Nisha have enough damage to threaten them I, out here? I mean, they don't have Zai. They don't have a lot of their team fight items with that. Oh, and that's the Torrent. Oh, to interrupt makes it happen. Jeez, some big plays. Like, when's the last time we've even seen GH have to blink, right? Mid one. Needs to be careful. Yapsor able to steal something there. It's the acid spray. Lay it down the other direction. That's a lot of minus armor paired together with the bristle back. What die. can they do? They're in trouble and going to drop. Mid one dead, 80 seconds without buyback. And Nisha, the next one on the plate. He's 17 seconds away from having his BKB, but they're going to be there first. Liquid chasing forward, have themselves the stun. They control the Wraith King. He's going to come back in a second, seven seconds until BKB, but it's looking like it might not be enough as they have the Hex there. The follow up coming with the shackles afterwards. Don't even need it. Into RP. I mean, they're moving in. Already Wraith King getting the Hex out. Mid one there, but they've got the Aegis, and now Secret are fully committed. They've got they got to go in. This is Danger Town as they find Zai. Four staff trying to keep him alive, if at all possible. Skewer to run. He's still alive there. They did kill off the Shadow Shaman, but the buyback comes. Oh, and Zai, another round. Glimmer Cape keeping him alive. Can they make this work? They might be able to find a big RP, if at all possible. Looking for the opening. Zai making the play. It's a pretty good one with the Winter Wyvern ulti to interrupt. The Ghost Ship going to lay it stolen from Yapsor. Everybody from Secret playing their that absolute hearts out, and they're able to make it happen. It's only on a curl. But now Miracle may be going down as well. They pop. BKB for mid one, still looking for the chase. They take down Sai, he buys back. Buyback coming also from Mind Control. Weeha under fire. Maybe the crowd feeling a little bit of a sign of life if they can make it happen. But Weeha, he gets the oh piece off, God. able to run away afterwards. The stun is going to come out in just a moment. They find themselves this ET. The boat's going to land. Now, what more do you have left in the tank? Is the bristleback is gone. Secret needing to run, needing to hide. Where else can they go, though? As Zai still controlled, stomped in a way. Can they make it happen? The skewer pull back onto the other side, but it just pulls him closer to Puppy. Nisha trying to stand tall in this fight. He still has his ultimate available. As 21,000 net worth lead is going to continue to grow. They have Nisha under control as well. And just like that, Team Liquid looking to finish off this carry one more time. The Torrent is going to land. The Cold Embrace keeps them survivable. They have an X on to Zai. Liquid just running through Secret at this point as Zai tries to run. But get back here again. Mind Control continues to control. And that is going to be four dead and Liquid ready to run possible. But Miracle, he smells it. He wants to go on. He wants to play further in this tournament. And the Ancient is falling as Liquid again are going to knock Secret out of TI. All right, well, OG, you take the high road and I'll take the low road. Way down in the lower bracket for Team Liquid, but it looks just fine for them. Undefeated as they now 2-0 Team Secret of the International. And what an unbelievable series. Team Liquid, a great story for them, and obviously all the respect in the world for their competitors, Team Secret. Oh, the hug. You love to see it. Like I said, there's just so much respect and admiration between these two teams. And while it hurts to go out now, I'm sure they wouldn't have wanted to any other way for Team Liquid. So they exchange embraces.